Hey guys, welcome back to The Mindful Spoon. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about really key signs that you experience when you start healing from gastritis or GERD or acid reflux. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, the last three signs that I'm gonna be covering today are gonna to be very surprising and things that you would not really expect as much. Quick disclaimer, it's always important to consult with a healthcare provider to make sure you keep on tracking your progress and you are aware of the changes that are going on with your gastritis. There could be times where you are just healing and you haven't really felt a big change at all in your body however you have noticed small little things you can probably start eating more foods that you weren't used to before or you just start noticing small symptoms go down the number one sign that you know if you're healing from your gastritis is the reduction of abdominal pain if, especially if you've had it before you know that you have that left side abdominal pain and it's grueling sometimes and this is one of the things that I really noticed within myself as well I occasionally get abdominal pain but that's when I notice I'm eating a little bit too much or I've kind of surpassed the limit in a certain food that maybe my stomach's not used to yet but yeah one of my main symptoms when I first started getting gastritis and it was something out of the ordinary because I was used to bloating once in a while when I had indigestion I was used to gas once in a while if I had too many beans or something like that but when my gastritis started my abdominal pain is what kind of triggered it all, is what kind of made me think I've had all these other issues before, but it's never been this bad to where I've never had this different type of pain. This pain feels very different. The pain on your abdominal is usually on the left side. It can either feel like it's very full when you're eating small meals, or it can feel like it's burning a lot of the times. And little by little, as you start healing your gastritis, that's when you really start feeling the difference and that's when you really start noticing that hey i used to always get abdominal pain every single day at a specific hour maybe in the afternoon now i only get it like a little bit maybe the, the time has shortened or maybe i get it every other day or maybe i get it three times a week and it's that's when you really start to realize that you're getting better the second sign that you're healing from your gastritis is you're actually seeing a decrease in bloating and gas now a lot of people even though they have healed specific symptoms within their gastritis they have never really fully reached the goal of healing bloating and gas and that can actually be because they might either have an h pylori infection or their body's not able to fully break down the foods that they're consuming i had horrible bloating and gas when i was diagnosed with gastritis and it would literally have me bent over in my bed what really helped me at that time was a lot of like the heating packs on my stomach and also what really helped me was laying down on my left side that was kind of like a quick fix but it really had to do with me going in and really, really doing lifestyle changes in order for me to feel better and to get rid of that bloating and gas. A really good herb or tea that you can also buy is chamomile tea. That really helps because it relaxes your stomach muscles and it can really help the discomfort in your stomach. Sign number three is improved digestion. Now, I would say I had pretty good digestion before this, so I don't know if this fully applies to me um, as to when I had gastritis, but when I did have it, I noticed that I either had a lot of diarrhea or just constipation, and I was never in like that sweet spot, especially when I was really down bad with my gastritis, but I felt like I wasn't fully digesting everything. like. I feel like I needed some help and that's when I really started taking digestive enzymes which really helped me out. Um, those I got off of Amazon and they really just help you break down the actual food that you're eating. It has different types of enzymes. A lot of the over-the-counter pill form digestive enzymes usually have amylase, protease, and lipase. Amylase breaks down starches and carbs and protease breaks down protein and lipase breaks down fats. This was really helpful for me because I found out during my journey and while taking all these stool tests that I couldn't really digest fats fully. Now our body naturally does create digestive enzymes, but a lot of times we need that extra push. A lot of times either stress or age can really lower the acidity of the stomach, can really lower the ability to digest certain foods. So sometimes supplementing can be beneficial. With improved digestion, I would say that it really helped me with my non just because I was able to fully digest everything and for the most part actually absorb the nutrients that were in my food. So with that said, is sign number four that you are healing from your gastritis is that you feel some type of relief when it comes to 
the actual nausea that you have or vomiting. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, I didn't have a full experience where I actually vomited um, when I did have gastritis, when it, I got it the first time and then I got it the second time. But as a holistic nutritionist, I'm always working with people that have had those symptoms and I'm able to help them by making some quick lifestyle changes, by also making some type of nutritional changes and just overall stress and sleep is something that is very pivotal when it comes to your gastritis it can really trigger it and it can kind of also trigger the symptoms of nausea and vomiting as well now for nausea I do remember I did get nausea and hard of breathing especially when I would lay down after a meal right away so what really helped me was a lot of ginger teas ginger chews for nausea and vomiting you can also check out our Instagram because I just posted a way that you can reduce your reflux with some quick breathing techniques and movements that you can do at home that really reduce the sensation sensation of reflux in your esophagus. Sign number five that you're healing your gastritis is you start seeing more of a normal bowel movement. Now I know we talked about digestion but you start seeing normal bowel movements in the color and in the shape of your actual poop. If you look here in this Bristol chart this is the way that your poop should normally look on a regular basis. You know once in a while our poop kind of changes maybe we don't drink as much water and we're a little bit dehydrated things like that that's fine but for the most part this is where it's supposed to be and this is where i had it it was anywhere else but the actual middle and that's what happened when i had gastritis like i mentioned i was either having bowel movements that were just sporadic and crazy or like i had no bowel movements and this is also because i was constantly changing my diet from like okay i'm not gonna eat bread for this amount of time and then i'm gonna eat this and then i'm gonna eat this so i was always constantly changing everything and i didn't give my stomach a break so my stomach never got to fully actually get accustomed to a set diet that's why it's really important to work with nutritionists and people that know how to create meal plans for specific things like gastritis GERD and acid reflux speaking of while we're in the middle of this video a quick break I did want to mention that I just opened up my holistic nutritionist services right now there's three packages one package is a $25 package where you just get a meal plan and it's a one-time payment and you're good and you're done and you follow it to how you want package number two is the $50 a month package now with this package it's really amazing because you get to see me twice during the month and we talk about how I can help you when it comes to lifestyle stress sleep nutrition and it's just an overall wholesome type of service that really helps you out you also get de-stress methods and then the third package is the $75 a month package as well as crash courses and master classes on how to continue avoiding certain types of things like gastritis acid reflux and GERD and you just overall learn more about gut health which is irreplaceable with that said if you're interested you can go ahead and leave me an email I will be putting all the information down below and let's move on to the next sign okay so sign number six so this sign is the increase of appetite if you are healing from gastritis you will notice that your appetite has kind of increased because usually you're not eating i mean for me at least you normally see unexplained weight loss when you have gastritis or GERD mainly because everything that you eat hurts or you just have a culmination of symptoms right after your meals or just throughout the day and it's just horrible you'd rather just not eat and after not eating for a while your body might get used to it and might reduce its appetite and just the nausea overall can really be something that affects it but when you're healing from gastritis you notice you have a little bit more appetite you can actually get things down without getting crazy reflux and it's a lot more comfortable a lot of the times we don't notice these things maybe we've got a little bit too comfortable you know like we're back in the groove now we feel like we can eat anything we start eating everything that we didn't use to your body's not used to it anymore because it's you haven't eaten it for months or weeks whatever now you're just jumping in a pool of things you are not used to that your stomach is not used to and that can really aggravate it sign number seven that you're healing is your sense of fullness after small meals has gone away a lot of people will have either dyspepsia hypochloridia i am always having issues saying that and gastritis have issues having large meals a lot of times they have to have several small meals throughout the day to actually 
actually keep up their energy levels. So as part of your healing, you will notice that you're able to eat slightly bigger meals. And I wouldn't, like I mentioned before, I wouldn't go all the way in and have like a full on buffet. If you wanna have and try different things, try to do it in small portions and really little by little start to add more to your plate or add more to your meals. There's actually three really surprising signs that you're healing. One of them is you have a mental clarity. Your brain fog kind of starts diminishing little by little. You notice you have more energy throughout the day. For me, after like two or three, I was done. I was ready to knock out until the next day. I overslept all the time. I was always sleeping. I was always tired. And it was because my stomach was overworked. My stomach was inflamed and irritated. My body was going through a whole process of inflammation. Also, there's a lot of mental clarity when it comes to that because you're no longer getting worried about like what am i gonna eat later if i go out i'm gonna only eat a bowl of rice because that's literally the only thing that makes me feel somewhat okay sign number nine is not only was my brain fog gone i noticed that also a lot of like my very heightened emotions like anxiety and fear were slowly going away or i was slowly being able to kind of take the time to prioritize that over like the pain of my symptoms in gastritis prioritized my mental health and it really created a lot of mental clarity for me to process things. I was no longer having like sleep disturbances. Sometimes I would get up in the middle of the night with horrible reflux and I would just have to like literally sit down and sleep sitting. I felt irritable all the time. I felt tired. I felt angry, very moody and very increased levels of stress. And the last sign that your gastritis is healing is you feel more fulfilled. Now, the reason why you feel more fulfilled after healing something like that is because part of the journey, like I've been mentioning throughout this whole video, is sticking to something, being disciplined in a way um, to creating habits that you're normally not used to. Things like maybe eating a little bit earlier before you go to bed, taking a walk after meals, there's people who usually get gastritis because they're either overweight or maybe they're eating very sporadic meals or hardly at all during the day and their body is just kind of dysregulated. When you're healing and you really join that journey and you really start taking actionable steps, the most amazing feeling is feeling fulfilled after all and feeling like you're actually able to get yourself somewhere that you've been wanting to be for so long. Healed and healthy. Now remember, these signs are more personal to how I've felt and also more general indications. Individual experiences may vary. You might feel even better than I did. With that said, I got a little preachy there, but I just wanted to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow us on our social medias like Instagram or TikTok. We are constantly posting, I, don't, I say we, but it's literally just me. I'm co constantly posting recipes and different really tips and tricks that you can try out. If you wanna see that breathing technique, it's gonna be actually on our Instagram, on our Instagram reels. I believe it might be on our TikTok too, but check those out. Make sure you follow those so that we keep in contact if you're interested in any of the services or in the free guide. They're all gonna be down below in the description and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.